Hello guys, this is IPTech here and I'm back with another video. Uh, this time it will be another Skylake build, but uh, in this video I'll be focusing on making it uh, just cheap as possible and still be able to handle 1080p gaming without a problem. Uh, so to start off the build, I have the processor and for this I chose the newly released Intel Core i3-6100. So this is a locked processor so you can't overclock it, it's currently clocked at 3.7GHz which is a pretty decent frequency. It is a dual core but it's got hyper threading meaning it's got a 4 virtual core and uh, at the moment is a relative it's under uh, 100 pounds which is a very good price and you do have to be careful some games not supporting dual cores but it's a powerful uh, chip that's gonna handle any game uh, that supports uh, two cores uh, without a problem as its single thread performance is pretty good and uh, if it and it since it's a locked processor you don't need aftermarket cooler as you're not gonna be able to overclock it so a stock CPU cooler is gonna do a, a great job of cooling the CPU uh, next we have the motherboard and for this I chose the ASRock Sage 170M uh, Mini ITX board. This is, if I didn't mention before, it's going to be a Mini ITX build. Uh, so we need a Mini ITX uh, motherboard and I chose the H170 uh, chips because uh, it's, uh, it's you can't overclock on it and our CPU doesn't support overclocking so it's, you don't have to waste any more money on a more expensive Z170 board which you won't be able to utilize uh, the overclocking features. And for RAM, I chose a single stick of 8 gigs of DDR4 2100 MHz RAM. I only chose a single stick because our motherboard only has two DIMM slots, and I want to allow for future expansion to 16 gigs if you want to do that. And, and the Kingston RAM is very good. I'm using it in my own system, so I'm, I can verify that it's pretty reliable. And for storage, I chose a single Seagate one terabyte hybrid drive. So this has got a eight gigs of a uh, uh, hybrid uh, storage or SSD storage, and one terabyte of mechanical storage, which means that your most used apps are going to be able, to handle, it's going to handle like the operating system uh, speed very well. So it's going to be much snappier than just a plain uh, uh, hard drive, and you still get the one terabyte storage, and a pretty good price. Uh, next for the video card and for this I chose the MSI Radio 99380 4GB version. Uh, this is a very good card from uh, AMD and it out slightly outperforms the GTX 960 which is only 2GB card and it's just the 4 gigs of RAM, is, uh, they've got 4 gigs of VRAM, it's gonna allow for some very good 1080p performance and it's got enough power to power most games at high to ultra settings at 1080p and still get you to 60fps. You won't be able to max out every game or all games, but you should get very good uh, settings and very good frame rates, especially like the lock 60 FPS for most games. And next for the case, and since this is a Mini ITX build, I went with one of the best Mini ITX uh, cases that I uh, know at the moment, and it's the Fantex M4 Evolve ITX. Uh, it's a very good tile from Fantex. It supports any size uh, GPUs up to like 330 millimeters, so it's gonna support even a big graphics card, which uh, our ones is, so you don't have to stick strictly to ITX cards. And just sort of overall, a uh, very good case from Fantex. Uh, good cable management, uh, looks good, and it's just nice and small, so it can be used for as a home theater PC or just a standalone gaming PC. And next for the uh, uh, power supply, I chose the EVGA Supernova Next 650 AE Plus Gold Certified. I went a bit overboard with the power supply as I want to make sure it's uh, more feature compatible. So if you want to get a more powerful graphics card, uh, you can, it should allow you to that. 650 watts, plenty of power to power even the latest graphics cards, and uh, it should it's going to be more than enough to power the our graphics card and CPU as they won't be using that much power. And the 80 plus gold efficiency is gonna uh, provide you with uh, better power consumption, so reduced power consumption. It's gonna save you a new power bill. And this is it for the build, guys. It's gonna cost you around 600 pounds, uh, which is a very good price for what you get. Uh, and uh, see you in the next video. Make sure you leave a like uh, if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.